You're on the princess. Hey there, everyone. This is Alcal playing Slater Princess. You're on a path. Oh, am woods. I? That's really and cool. At the end of that path is a cabin. Really? And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You don't say. You're here uh, to slay her. My short tryst with a blender. It will be the end of the uh, that story was a lot of fun, if anything. Um. Is I can't I can't remember if these options are the same that when we started. Uh, hmm. Uh. While I appreciate the mental yeah. exercise, we are running up against a... Like, I'm... Difficulty. Actually, I am unclear, act, uh, all the way up to this point, how it is that she is the source of the end of the world. You, uh, the princess is locked up because she's dangerous. She hmm. is not dangerous because she's locked up. I mean, so last time, in the last story, like, we've seen that going... More of our time by asking how with an aggressive that, methodology, it's just through which it's not going to work. Situation. Causality doesn't matter here, uh -huh. because the end result is the same no matter what led us up to this Okay. Point. If the princess leaves the cabin, the world will end. I was there hoping, because no I didn't remember, but I was I was Tony hoping there was a, a uh, a metaphorical chicken or egg, because the egg like how she would cause everything. the end of the world, you know? Unless, of course, you do your job. And slay her. Because I feel like, I mean, it's clear that bringing a knife to the fight ain't gonna do nothing, right? So, the big thing, the big difference we're gonna do. Does it? Are you a monarchist? Is that. Uh, that okay, so, like, basically, what I'm saying is that, you know, the, the, the past I'm seeing, one created if while. Anything, slaying a princess. Uh, while not seizures. going there at all. Seizures and there's one by going full aggro. To society. So I'm going to go there subtly. I'm not going to pick up the blade. And we're still going to have... Like, I'm not saying I'm not going to kill her if I have a chance. You know, but in reality, I've seen my arms. Like, I have these really gnarly claws. Uh... uh of course I have. <laughs> Why would I even <laughs> Nobody wants the world to end. I mean, maybe some but people do. She needs a no, wide or variety or of experiences. Very, very maybe we should let her in the world. Surely you're not one of those. Just just I this once. Okay. Uh okay. Alright. Don't mention it. It's all part of the job. It's all good. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find yeah, so this has a skip, so it's nothing new. Before you go any further, uh, I can skip if I want. Lie. I'm not doing it. Cheat. Uh, because I feel like repeating her the mantra of the game her. is useful for me to just kind of like have it there. She says. Even though I'm speaking fully over him constantly, don't worry about it. <laughs> hey, door. The interior of yep. the cabin is almost entirely bare. It is. The this is the neutral state of the, the cabin. The walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. You, if you paint with dust, you're going to have problems. Table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. I want to look at a mirror. Hey, you can see. Wait, wait a second. Yeah. You can see there's less hatching there. Where the mirror the would be. But also you... Implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Yeah, well, I'm gonna do this wrong. Okay. Narrator doesn't make a fuss about it. Door to the but we're not at the fuss-making part yet. The staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light <laughs> in the room below. Mm-hmm. This is an oppressive place. Yeah, look at that. There's knots in, in the wooden planks. Filtering Gross. The, ancient wood. If the princess really lives here... Slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Look at the way he raises his voice. He's so happy to say her voice that. Softly carries. He's like, yeah, I'm gonna say that, and and this is Hello? gonna, it's gonna make him want to kill her more. That's good. That's good for me. It's hypnotizing. It's the kind of voice you only have to hear once to remember it well, for the rest of your life. So I feel like the the fact that this is like my third rodeo matters. So like. Doing what I'm planning to do now, one, like, 
as the first thing Don't I feel like would fooled. maybe have like a different all part of the result. You're playing a dangerous know. game by coming here unarmed. Yeah, well. <laughs> I'm gonna continue what I said the first Why? time I came here. It's been so long since anyone's come down here. I, I was starting to think they'd forgotten about me. I wonder how long it's been from her point of view. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist. That's accurate. Binding her to I mean, the honestly, it's around like her entire forearm. She's beautiful. How could someone like this be a threat to anyone? Did he say that the first time? I am begging you to stay focused. There's a lot riding on you here. Like, is not bringing the knife that big of a differentiator? Hi. Do you think you can get me out of these chains? Probably should not. Okay. Yeah, let's, let's have a nice civil chat. Wow, you are real close to her. Uh You know what? Oh, that's in this one is interesting. The ones without any words are also intriguing to me. Okay. Uh Okay, I'm going to be straightforward with her. Hmm. Here we go. Is that why they threw me down here? But I don't want to hurt anyone. I, I like the world, I think. Look how differently she's drawn. Just like her everything. The the quality of her shapes. Like she's still very sketchy, but she's a lot less angular. Her her arms are a lot more and hands are more shaped like hands. Um the eyes are kind of silly. <laughs> They're kind of going I don't out there. Much about it, to be honest. I've been down here for so long. That's how long has she been locked away? Yeah, narrator, do you know that? Did they tell you how I'm supposed to end the world? No. Yeah. I don't know how to destroy the world, if that's what you're getting at. I believe her. Okay. She doesn't have to know how to destroy the world to be capable of... That's that. true. I mean, the reality is it's the entity that's behind her, right? That's going to actually destroy the world, probably? At the end of the day, whatever the two of us have going on down here is about trust. Whoever sent you to slay me claimed I was a threat to the world, but... They didn't tell you why. That is true. I don't trust that. And I don't think you do either, or you wouldn't have come down here to talk. Maybe. If I'm about to... If I'm supposed to give her a variety of... Uh, of experiences, maybe one of them is to let her loose. She has a point. We're talking like this for a reason. So this shouldn't be about what I'd do if I got out of here or... Me saying the right thing to convince you to save me. This is about how messed up this whole situation is. This is my life we're talking about. Do you really think I can even end the world? Why would I even want to? I, see. I know, but I don't. The I here, referring to different states of I. We both know that if there's people we can't trust in this situation, it's whoever locked me down here, and it's whoever sent you here. And those two groups are probably one and the same. Oh, well, yeah. Don't let her turn the tables here. This isn't about trust. This is about <laughs> risk. We stand to lose everything, all for the sake of one person. And a subjugating monarch, no less. The narrator is really pushing that hate. <laughs> K 
kill kill all king and queens uh, sort of what's the word I'm looking for here I forget this I feel like just kind of goes back in circle I I feel like I don't care Okay, you know what? No. <sighs> Which one of these? By the tone of voice that the hero has been using, I will go with this option. This is I. This is not my decision. This is what I perceive to be the hero's decision. You're only making this more difficult. Well, we'll, we'll see what happens. Shut up, narrator. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see what happens. This might cause a nuke to blow up. You're making a huge mistake. No, you're doing the right thing. Ooh, narrator to talking to me. The to the wall Interesting. The They're large and heavy. Far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them apart. I'm guessing you don't have the key? Accurate. Do you have the key? <laughs> Maybe it's somewhere upstairs. Doubtful. Whoever locked the princess away down here intended for her to never see the light of day. They wouldn't have just left the key to her chains somewhere in the cabin. It would probably be f easier to break the wall down. <laughs> like, honestly, and just kind of like leave with a chunk of the wall still attached. Well, the cabin does have some quantum qualities to it. Let's check it okay. out real fast. I'll be here. Good luck. Like you maybe to make your way out of the basement, mm. but the door at the top of the stairs slams shut. You hear the click of the lock sliding. Okay, across. that's rude. Is someone else here? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's try. You try the door. Mm -hmm. It's locked from the outside. Mm hmm. Your shouts and pleas are met with silence. Okay, this is this is a wild diversion. You're here to slay the princess, and you won't leave until. Did the you do? Uh, wait, did you do this, narrator? Are you the one locking me here? It's very you rude. Make your way to the bottom of the stairs. This would have been so much easier if you'd just taken the blade like you were supposed to. Yeah, well. Easier for whom? Yeah, easier for him. That's right. Easier for everyone. Look at the mess you're in. I heard the door slam. They locked you down here too, didn't they? They sure did. There's a slight panic rising in the princess's voice. If I could just get out of these chains, I know we could force our way out of here together. Ooh, music stopped. Being replaced by this subtle drone. She barely hesitated. <laughs> her her wow! Through her limb with the determination of a trapped wolf. Wow, okay. Shock you didn't try to do that earlier. As she rips her flesh from her bone. A sound comes from behind you. The clang of bouncing metal. Uh-huh. It's the blade from upstairs. Oh. You're not sure how it made its way down here, but if there's a time to strike, it's now. No. Or we could use it to free her. Yes. You won't like what happens if you do that. Then show it to me. <sighs> Fine. Me and narrator, we're... <laughs> There's issues between us. Against your better judgment, you place the blade against the ragged, self-inflicted wound on the princess's arm, just above the unyielding chain binding her. Gonna say it, she's taking... Okay, so two things. She's taking this very well... <laughs> but also, I wasn't sure if me being a bird lizard person was a reboot thing or there from the start. Because the mirror is never there on chapter one, and here it is in chapter one. So, good to know. You cut into her flesh. And into her bone, apparently. The blade is sharp, <laughs> and it takes little effort to crack through the bone of her heart. <laughs> yep. Her limb falls to the ground. This must be a lot more shocking if this is not your third story. <laughs> like, I'm used to her becoming a skeleton of swords, right? So... 
So that's why, to me, this is mostly comedic. She didn't so much as utter a sound through the whole ordeal. Yeah, she was in... Well, I wouldn't say she's into it. She's, like, extremely neutral about no, it. She didn't. She smiles softly as her gaze meets yours, blood from her wounded arm dripping rhythmically to the ground. How is she still smiling after everything? Because she's free! It's like she isn't even bothered by what just happened. You have granted her freedom, hero! <laughs> Wouldn't you be smiling? Technically, she could have done that from the start, though. Thank you. Now let's get out of here. Yeah! It's gonna no, backstab me or we something? Whoa, well, what? Are too high. <laughs> Narrator! To escape into the world. No. Oh, that's good. I can't just let her escape into the world. You're using, you're using your narration powers. As the princess approaches whoa, whoa, the no, stand, no. your body steps forward. The, and the I do not consent to this action, narrator. This is not fair. Like, you've been railroady before, but this this is pushing it. Wait, this isn't fair. Yeah. You can't just do that. Exactly. Watch me. What are you doing? Tell him. Tell her. Oh, that is funny. Warn her. Stop that. Something's come over you, hasn't it? You, you know you don't have to do this, right? I am extremely aware of that. Your body lunges forward, the blade held low, ready to sink into her heart. I wonder if there were other options below the list. But the princess dodges, stumbling back against the wall before the blade has a chance to connect. Stop it. Stop trying to resist me. I'm trying to get you out of here alive. Well, what if I don't want to get out of here alive, narrator? Did you consider that? Resist? Okay, there's there's only one. The blade. Okay. Move the blade. And also shout that you're being mind controlled, maybe self. As your body remains frozen in stubborn resistance, the princess takes a cautious step forward. We both know this Okay, isn't you. you can tell. You can tell. I'm so happy about she that. She reaches towards you and takes the blade from your infuriatingly rigid hands. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, man. I'm sorry. I'll try to be quick. I don't know how I can do this better next time. She plunges it into your chest, tearing through flesh and sinew. It is is agony but you aren't dead yet how oh no i'm so sorry stay strong we can tough it out until it's done for her sake for her sake <laughs> don't you start pretending that dying a painful death is some sort of heroic oh, gesture it can be the two of you have literally doomed everyone See, the problem with that narrator is that everyone is a statistic, but one is a person. Whatever. She sinks the blade into your chest again and again and again, and you feel every inch of burning pain that slices its way into your body. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Ooh, animation. She doesn't know how to use a knife, does she? Yeah, no. Apparently not. Does it? A stab wound is still a stab wound, and it won't be long before you bleed out. I'm so sorry. With one last thrust of the knife, your legs give out beneath you. You collapse to the floor, your blood pooling around you, your limbs unresponsive. The princess stares down at your ruined chest as tears carve rivulets of pink down her blood-spattered cheeks. It can't just end like this, right? No, no. We'll find a way through this version of reality. Oh, that's rich coming <laughs> from you. As much as I'd prefer for things to have gone differently, I can't deny the reality of what's happened. The two of you made your choice. It's over. Man, she's really aggressively anime. Everything goes dark, and you die.